Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, a mechanism slash kind of predict the product question. Um, so the question is predict the products of the following reactions. It's only one reaction. And draw the mechanisms uh, showing the formation of these products. So what we're gonna go is we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step by step try to go through the mechanism and predict the product simultaneously. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is that okay we have a Grignard, but what type of carbonyl do we have here? Well, this this carbonyl is actually a special type of carbonyl where it's an amide, but then the nitrogen is also linked to an oxygen, and it's called a wine reb amide okay and this is going to come into play in a second so we have our isopropyl uh, Grignard reagent which is going to be something kind of like this and what's going to happen is this these electrons here are going to attack the carbonyl and the electrons in the pi bond are going to go to the oxygen so what you end up with now is something like this. Now the other thing to note is that this methyl is pointing out of the page and so you want to be careful of the orientation of that uh, chiral center uh, in your end product, right? So you have this kind of wine rub amide here and then you have your isopropanol, right? Well what do you still have here? You still have your magnesium bromide and now it has an overall positive charge, right? And this is now going to come into play because before this carbonyl is actually kicked down to kind of, I'm just going to make this a little nicer before I explain it. Um, so before this carbonyl kind of comes down to kick off this group, actually what's going to happen is the, the electrons on both oxygens are actually going to kind of form a complex with the magnesium and what you're gonna get is just gonna put an arrow there and then you have your oxygen okay this is actually kind of cramped so I'm just gonna bring it down here for a second mm -hmm. Right, and then you have your magnesium, which actually makes a covalent bond with this carbonyl oxygen here, and it kind of makes a coordinated bond here, and you have your bromide. Now you see what the problem is here, right? So the issue is that this extra oxygen that was added to the amide actually kind of causes the magnesium to coordinate with the oxygen, and it, it, does, it does two things. It prevents the electrons on the... Um, Sorry, it doesn't have a negative charge anymore, actually. It prevents the electrons on the oxygen from coming down to reform the carbonyl, and it also kind of sticks to this oxygen here, which means that this group here is not as good as a leaving group. So that's the end of the first step, actually. You act this is actually a really stable complex at low temperatures, right? Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add that acidic... Uh, solution which is just ammonium chloride in water which means we're going to have pro, uh, hi the these hydronium ions here right okay now what's going to happen is the electrons and the oxygen are actually going to be more attracted to this proton and so the magnesium kind of breaks off and what you end up getting is this here right you have your hydroxyl group you have your isopropanol from the Grignard and you still have this kinda sticky group here right and so what happens is first off because you're in acidic media these these guys can come down and this is gonna leave now because it's not stuck to the uh, magnesium bromide anymore right so you're going to form your carbonyl. It's going to be a protonated carbonyl because you still have that proton on it. Mm. Okay. 
okay and then you have your isopropanol and also oh sorry um, before this happens actually another step is supposed to happen which is basically you can imagine that this uh, nitrogen here will also get a proton right and so once it leaves you're gonna end up with that and then what could happen next is this because this nitrogen is still somewhat um, basic it could pick up this proton and so your final product will be this here plus your protonated your protonated amide right so that's the end of that question so hopefully that helped um, it was it's it's not your usual Grignard reaction right so you have to be careful of, of the um, groups here the groups that I would be careful of in terms of when adding Grignard to is this wine rub amide and also carboxylic acids right because carboxylic acids since the Grignard reagent is a base the carbox the, the 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 Grignard reagent will just pick up the proton from the acid and so it will be quenched by the acid so no reaction really would happen other than the deprotonation of that carboxylic acid so um, you have to be careful of which carbonyls are being attacked by Grignards, right? So hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, feel free to email my email down below. Um, I'll probably actually be doing a live stream soon um, because I know it's uh, exam season's coming up, and so it's going to be probably the week of August 10th, sometime there. I'm going to set up a doodle poll. Um, and uh, for my next video and hopefully you guys can vote on that so that we can find the best day and then I'll have a live stream where I'll just answer random questions um, that I have already prepared and then if anybody has any questions during the live stream you can send it to me and we could try to work it out together so if you like the video also make sure to like and subscribe uh, it would really mean a lot to me um, and yeah thanks a lot